Today, we're going to discuss the definition of the word nerve wracking. Did you know that nerve wracking comes from dentistry? It's the result of breaking off a tooth too early and having to dig a remnant out that's sitting on top of the nerve, thus nerve wracking. Okay, so joking aside, it can be very, very stressful during extractions when the tooth separates from the root and the root tip is close to the vital structures, right? Because all root tips are close to vital structures. They're either sitting on top of the nerve or they're sitting below the floor of the sinus, something like that, right? So the goal in all of your extraction or avulsion uh, cases that you do is to prevent that from happening. And there's a simple way to do that. The way you do that is that you must ensure that you gain total mobility of the tooth before you apply a force sufficient to break it. Now, people will say, well, what is that force? You know, is it, is it 14 newtons or is it 23 newtons? That we can't answer because we don't have uh, force transducers on our, on our elements to give you that answer. But what we can tell you is that you want to apply with time, you'll get experience to the point where you'll know what that is. But initially, what you want to do is you want to apply enough force to the tooth that you see the tooth move in the avilus. So when it moves in the avilus a little bit, hold that position for a second and let the bone do what it does. And that is it moves. It's called creep in engineering. And in dentistry, the bone expands. It's creating space. Then take the tooth in a different direction and apply a little force there until you see that the entire tooth with all of the roots are moving. Why? Because at, at some point, if you think, well, if I apply a little more force, the, re the remaining portion of this tooth is going to come out and it breaks. It's not as big of a deal. Why? Because the little piece of tooth remnant that's near the vital structure is already loose. Okay. And if it's already loose at this point, all you have to do is find a lever point, some sort of leverage with like a root tip pick, and you can lever that out very easily. If you break it off early, before you get that mo that motion on the tooth, what happens is the little piece that's stuck in there is basically cold fused to the bone. Like there's, and, and it's very difficult to get a lever on there because there's no access, right? It's broken off at the bottom of the socket. So then you have to get out a 702 burr or a piezo or something to create space in order to get a, a device down in there, like a root tip pick or east, west, flags, criers, and elevate that out, okay? So when you're doing that, remember, it's sitting on vital structures like nerves. And if you do it wrong, it can be extremely nerve wracking. You can come out of a situation like that and literally say to your team members, I'm never doing another extraction again because it's nerve wracking, right? So the way we prevent nerve wracking is proper extraction technique. And in summary, you must ensure that the tooth is moving before you apply a force sufficient enough to separate the tooth, all right? And if you do that, you'll be very, very efficient at your extraction processes. This has been another episode of Implants Made Simple. I'm Dr. Robert Stanley, the Smile Engineer. If you've enjoyed this content, follow for more.